What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to our first our first cube draft in the new house. We have officially moved. We are moved in. Undreamt Tuna with the bits. Oh my god, I appreciate you. Brett with the gifted sub. Just Badger with the gifted subs. Um Mayhem with the with the stipulation, which we are gonna do. And I think I'm gonna pick this demonic tutor. But while I'm reserving that, we're gonna we're gonna figure out. Uh we're gonna go clarify what the stipulation is so just so you guys know i'm gonna go over here and uh okay so the stipulation do, 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 do. uh is cubes cube stip draft a cube deck in a location you never have before so uh <laughs> i'm gonna do that i'm gonna draft a cube deck in this location. And this is my first time cube drafting. So it kind of worked out perfectly. Uh, <laughs> it was there an elf. Was there even an elf in that pack? Oh my God. What's going on? Brett 269. <laughs> wow. Now we're at 42069. It's almost perfect. I'm going to take mind twist because it goes quite well with the black. Oh, there was no elf. And you're just, you're just trolling. I, I understand. I understand. Badger, I would expect no less than high quality trolls. I think Ugin's probably the strongest card in this pack. Cards in this pack that I have in my own cube. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine of 13 here. I don't have Corpse Dance. I don't have Lutri. I don't have Midnight Reaper. I don't have Arcane Denial. So not bad. Oh, I am extremely excited for Ignoble Hierarch. It is definitely going straight into the cube. I kind of like looking at packs and being like, what do I have and what don't I have in my own cube? Um, yes, 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 yes. No. Yes, no, no. No, because I don't have Storm. Yes, yes, no. So I think five cards in here. Mimic, Second Right, Knight, Lion's Eye, and Mana Tide. They're not in mine. I guess we're just taking Yawgmoth here? I don't know. I'm not going to go. I don't, I'm not. So I love you, Badger. I love you to death. But I don't think I'm going to go white just for a Mana Tide. <laughs> you know what? Badger, you gifted 10 subs, buddy. I'll take a Mana Tide just for you. I also like black white as an archetype. I don't know if we're, we can be black white here, but you know, it is an option. So ruining mono black. Oh, Embercleave. That's interesting. Actually, Embercleave is a card I might want to consider for my own cube. Let's put that on the list. Um, who was that? Undrub Tuna for 38 months. Oh my God. Um, 38 months is longer than... Then three years on Drum Tuna, please. Thank you. Let's take Blade Splicer. I like Bloodstain Mire. Oh, Caracas is nice. Oh, Vanishing Verse is a nice one. Oh, I kind of like that. That might table. Eh, two cards are coming back. It's probably going to be, I'm going to say Razor Verge Thicket and Vortex. Those are my guesses. I actually, oh, Echo, huh? Interesting. Hmm. Oh, um, hold on. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, let me shut this one off. One's muted. I have no idea why. Yeah, I want to take a lesson around. I think it's just good enough. Oh, Lingering Souls is great here. Snuff Out is an interesting inclusion. Metallic. I mean, that's just how I sound, guys. I don't know what to tell you. That's my new metal voice. Oh, the echo's gone. Well, all right. Oh, I like a resto. Oh, man, look at our subtrain hype. Look at it happening, guys. 
Um, someone asked me a question. What do I think of Ben Blyweiss's hot take of Ravik Game being the best one drop in Magic? Um, I think it's insanely good. Like, it's easily going to take over for Zergo in my own cube, right? Like, it's just not even close, I think. Um, like, Zergo is just a worse Ragaman. If you had... It's like he loses one toughness, but he gains, like, <laughs> fucking so many other things, right? Like, it's insane. I'm going to take Ravages for you, Unforgiven, but I don't know if I like it. Oh, my God. What is this? Is this... Well, this looks like Hunter. I was like, is that a Hunter remote? No, instead it's just a, a random dog with a uh, with a Handmaid's Tale costume on. I think we'll just take a Lightning Tutor. Maybe we can get something sweet with it. Oh, Midnight Reaper is actually fine. I don't hate it. Oh, Yawgmoth came back, who I was thinking of taking the first time, and we have Lingering Souls? Okay. <laughs> Little red riding pooch. Oh my god, Phil, thank you for the resub. You guys have been amazing. Thank you guys for the for the incredibly warm welcome back. I also need an avatar token that's produced by the backside of Excess. Didn't I say Razor Verge and Sulfuric Vortex, guys? Didn't I nailed it? Didn't I nailed it? <laughs> Didn't I nailed it? Nice. Sometimes you know the cube and you can just predict the exact two cards that are coming back. Ooh, a ruby. Oh, what up, two-way? Upheaval in Modern is pretty wild. Um, I could definitely see decks. I mean, like... I like the idea of ramp decks and... What if, like, just Mono Blue Tron plays it or something, you know? I don't know. I don't. I do not have Yogmoth's will, J. <laughs> Jr. I had to draw my own Exodus token the other day. I don't know if it. Um. So I actually, I think Exodus is super sweet, and I put him in my cube because it's basically just a four, 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 four that gets guys back. Um. I. I mean, we're taking the ruby. I don't know why I'm waiting this long. I think I wanted to see what my other options are, but there are no real other options. There are no other options. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just Skyclave Apparition here. I saw an ad that read TV for sale, $1. Volume stuck on full. I thought to myself, I can't turn that down. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, Scrubland is nice. I call my horse mayo and sometimes mayonnaise. Oh, Marsh Flats. See, I really like going uh, Scrub Lane into Marsh Flats. We're also passing an Oko, but there's, there's no way we're casting an Oko, so. <clears throat> Ooh. 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 We're going to take Bitter Blossom. It goes really well with, uh, well, it goes well with, is this non-token? Dang it. It goes well with Yawgmoth and Aleshnorn, and we're just taking it. And if we get a Fallen Shinobi, I'll probably just play it, so. Little Red Riding Hood. I know the EDH isn't your thing, but I built an Alesha Who Smiles at Death deck last week and popped Exodus. There, it's, it's just a ton of value, and, like, the backside's cool, too. Like, I like cards that fit into... I, one of the things I love about the double-faced cards, I really want Sedgemore Witch. I think Sedgemore Witch is a replacement for Woe Strider. They're both three twos. They both make tokens. Uh, this one has protection, and it also has an evasion ability. The evasion is relevant because you can go turn three Sedgemore, which into Fallen Shinobi, which is one of the main things you want to do in black. That being said, I'm going to take Course of Portal because I just want a way to draw more cards. <clears throat> I hope the I hope the Witch tables. Dark Depths is interesting. What was I saying? Oh, the, the Exodus. Yeah, like, so the thing about Exodus is nice is, um, I want to take Dark Depths in case we get Hex Mage, is that you can play the black-white side if you're a black-white deck, but then you can also just play the black-red side if you're a black-red deck. So I'm going to take Dark Depths. I like Blood Chief's Thirst. 
Let's take that guy. Oh, facts of the day. My favorite facts of the day. Mars sometimes hums and scientists don't know why. Well, maybe it's just having a good time, you know? Flooded strand is great. We already have a scrubland. Flooded strand also lets us get a blue if that's a thing that we want to do. Second fact, some Italian banks will let you take out a loan using wheels of Parmesan cheese as collateral. Is that true? That sounds like a that sounds like a gabagool meme. Like it just sounds like Third fact of the day, according to a 2011 study, a book feels heavier if people are told it contains writing on an important subject. That's interesting. I bet the interest rates at Italian banks are Gouda. <laughs> oh God, I love you all. I think Deluge is better than Wrath here. And we'll take it. I'll take it. I was gonna look something up, but I forgot what it was. Totally forgot what it was. Braids is interesting. We have Lingering Souls, and I'm going to take the Braids. I'm going to go out outside of my comfort zone here and take a card that works really well with Lingering Souls and Bitter Blossom and Woe Strider. <clears throat> Extra fact, being before being called Pinky Toes, the smallest toe is often called Stupid Fucking Oh God, It Hurts Toe. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> If the sauce is not on the side, I will send it back. <laughs> if the salad is on top of the pasta, I will send it back. Although they are fairly sedentary, tarantulas have been around for 120 million years. That's a lot. Uh, enabling them to take advantage of continental drift and colonize all the continents of the world apart from Antarctica. It's actually kind of awesome. I also, I, I have a, an, a great appreciation for tarantulas. I think they're super cool. Um, and they're very like they're not stir. A lot of them are not super aggressive, so like that's why you can have them as pets, and they won't like try to bite you. They're they're kind of like they're just because of the fur and everything. They're kind of like just small animals. That's too many tarantula con tarantula continents. Six out of seven? That's a good that's a good amount, right? <clears throat> Yet tarantula islands are so rare. Tarantula push fiddle push was nice there. I you like like I was gonna say something about tarantulas, and then instead I was like, wait, what I was really gonna say was about fatal push. Come on, chat. Any more dad jokes to send my way? <laughs> a badge, Badger is literally the dad joke. The Sedgemore Witch came back? What? Oh, that's insane. Everything that
Man, we still have a third pack left. This is pretty good. Moxer Re Scrubland, Marsh Flats, Flooded Strand. Our mana is good. Our three and four drop is quite strong. <laughs> what did the hot dogs name their kid? Frank. <clears throat> oh, what do we got here? Kenrith is interesting. We're not talking about my hot dog parents. Thanks. Rude. I like Massacre Worm, but I don't know if I should. I bet they relish that one. This chat has become unwieldy. I think this chat needs to just take a break. Oh, dear. <clears throat> Badger, you can't just keep saying the goldfish joke. <laughs> Oh, God. I kind of just want Kenrith. Like, we could actually play Razor Verge Thicket and use the green. Marsh, uh, Flooded Strand lets us use the blue if we have a blue source. And Mox Ruby lets us use the red. We have two fetches, which I don't feel like is enough for Deathrite Shaman. And we can't activate the green effectively. So I don't... Meh, I mean, the black is obviously the better ability. I don't know. I think I'd rather just have Kenrith. I think it's a stronger card. It can also reanimate. Like, we have the, the capacity to both reanimate and to, like, gain five life. Try to take a selfie in the shower. It turned out all blurry. I think I have selfie steam issues. Wow. Wow. I didn't even want to finish, and I was like, nope. <laughs> oh, dear. See, this pack's not very good. It's, it's like a bunch of three drops and four drops. Three drop, four drop, three drop, four drop, three drop. Giver of Runes is kind of meh. I mean, Thalia's good, yeah, but I just feel like we have so many three drops is the problem. Like, I could also see taking Tefri here and then just, like, splashing it off of, like, Flooded Strand and maybe, if anything, we can, if we can pick up anything else. I don't think we're ephemerating. I don't think we're taking Yawgmoth's Will. It's either Ashen Rider or Teferi. I think it's I think I like Teferi better. Tell me that you saw me drag the Teferi. Tell me. Tell me you saw it. I blame J chart really. <clears throat> I want to take this Valky now because we have we have Mox Ruby. I could take Wall of Omens. We have I think Valky is so strong though. I'm gonna take the Wall of Omens. I, I just want more things to do on turn two. Plus, like, it's good with Resto. Apparently the paper was jamming. Wow. Oh dear. I think we're just taking concealed courtyard just to make our mana a little better. I almost posted a very not safe for work joke. I have to take a picture of the boys for Katie. They're laying in their little dog bed. Oh, Grave Titan is... Um, this, even if we're just playing two colors, black-white is a pretty color-intensive uh, combination. Like, you have double black, double black, Double white, Blood Chief's Thirst, double black, double white. There's a lot of times where you like want double black. I think we just have to take Vampire Hex Mage. And if Grave Titan or Fracture come back, or even Black Cleave Cliffs, I'll be pretty okay with that. I would love to take um, 
Grave Dad, but the fact that we have Dark Depths in the sideboard is pretty uh, chef's kiss. We also have Demonic Tutor, and we can get Vampiric Tutor to go get it. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, also Thespian Stage? Yeah, we're Thespian Staging. I mean, I'm already in. I'm already committed to this Dark Depths, like... Oh, Vindicate is fantastic here. Shoot. Because we have so many tokens, I can probably just take Midnight Reaper out. I can probably also take Woe Strider out. Oh, Sterling Grove was, yep, I figured the Death Rite Shaman would come back, actually. <laughs> kind of funny. I actually kind of like Dark Petition here. Like, if we have Dark Depths, we can just Dark Petition to go get Vampira Hexmage and just play it off of Dark Depths. Yeah, we're taking that. Like, we're basically a combo deck now, right? Why does the title say Gabby and LSV? Because this is the Gabby and LSV uh, cube draft. Like, this is their cube. Their alternate cube. So if I... Like, if you go home, let's see if it says it up here. Uh, play Gabby in the LS Vintage Cube. It's the Gabby and Luis Cube. So, oh, Damnation is a nice one. Clickbait. I assumed they were there. Well, I mean, that's not my fault. I'm, I named it correctly. Oh, Ashen Rider comes back? Shoot. <laughs> That's what stream title says. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. So proud of all of you. The Valky came back. Wow. We live, we're living the dream here. Let me get that last pick Lava Claw reaches if that's a thing. Hmm. 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 Interesting. I think I'd just rather have a more expensive... Oh, I guess we're taking that. Okay. Well... So about 352. What was the card I tried to pick and then I got the stupid Yogmoss Will instead? I do wish we had another red source. In fact, I might just cut it because of that. Now we're definitely playing it. Yes, yes, yes. Flood Strand and Marsh Flats get... I don't think the green is worth it for like... What is it? One counter? Yeah. I think we can probably cut Ashen Rider. We don't have any way to tricky it, tricky it into play. Ah, uh, Teferi. Thanks, y'all.
Uh, I actually kind of like braids a lot here. We have Bitter Blossom, Wall of Omens, uh, Lingering Souls, Blade Splice. We have a ton of things to sacrifice. Probably going to cut Deluge here. I think Deluge is correct, and then we can board it if we need it. Just to be clear, this does not tap for mana. Yep, okay. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, nine, nine is probably the best we can expect here with a Mox Ruby, a Dark Depths, and a Thespian Stage that do not produce colored sources, so. Deluge, also not to be confused with Night Luge, which are two different things. Just like nitrogen and daytrogen. That's, yeah, that's correct. Uh, good, good grief. Yes, the Deluge fights the Night Luge. <laughs> oh! It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Oh, boy. If this round could start, that would be super cool. I also feel like I have to sneeze, but... Oh man, Nevenril's disc was just was just spoiled. And solitary confinement? Oh my god, dude. Modern Horizons 2 is a friggin' banger. Yep, this hand's good. We get a ship dark petition. Oh my god. Sterling Grove, Solitary Confinement, and Nevenril's Disc were just were just spoiled for um Modern Horizons. Keep ship done. I was told to come here for a Dark Devs cube. Well, you come to the right place, good sir. Also, this, all right, let's see what Solitude does. It's the white version of this card cycle. Five mana for a 3-2 with Flash and Lifelink. A little bit more expensive. When it enters the battlefield, exile up to one other creature. That creature's controller gains life equal to its power. That's extremely good. This is a five mana sword to plowshares with lifelink and flash and evoke. That's really good. It's a little expensive, but like what it what it lacks in in cost efficiency, it makes up for in versatility, I think. Oh, what up, Haji Gulashi? It's your boy. Old Haji Goo. Oh, I knew. I knew you yelled it. Search the plow shares. Cost one mana. That costs zero if need be. That was good. That was real good. <laughs> you guys ever search the plow shares? <laughs> okay, well, we're definitely get rid of that. Or maybe get rid of Mana Crypt. I don't really know. 
But I think we're tutoring for something here because I don't want to do it next turn. So next turn we're going to play Apparition. <sighs> Might just be Resto, actually. It gives us two removal spells. They get a 1-1. One, one. If we get this, they get a 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, I'm just going to take a Resto. I think it's just better for our plan here. Like, you get to do lots of things. So, what well, Resto it is. So far, I think these um, these elemental incarnations from... Um, <laughs> the problem with Mana Tithe right now is that we just don't have a point in the curve where we want it. We're Next time we're going to play a 3-drop, then we're going to play a 4-drop. And even if we didn't get this, we'd already have a 4-drop, so we might as well get just a better 4-drop that we can play. Um, yeah, so far these elemental incarnations are 3-for-3 three three with me. I, I like Solitude, I like Subtlety, and I like Grief. I think they're all pretty sweet. I can either type quick enough for my comment to be relevant, or I can type good. You gotta pick one. You can't have both, man. Sure. <sighs> Joke's on you, buddy. Dang it, they won the flip? They've won every flip so far. I think I'm going to get 4-4 four, four now. So we're going to take 4, and then we're going to take another 4. What the fuck? What is this? What are they doing with the Mana Crypt? What is happening right now? Ember Cleave. <laughs> Okie dokie, I guess we're taking 6 instead. My bad. Really need a white source here. Yep. All right. Oh, are we just dead? This goes to a five five. No, we go to two, I guess. Wow, this is a hell of a hell of a play here. Apparently mana crypt into ravages is uh is where you want to be. <sighs> Okay, you got it. Well, I actually, those up as to one. This is six, 79, 10, 11. Yeah, that puts us to one instead, which I guess still kills us next turn, right? Okay. Let's see their last card. Could be worth playing around. Porcelain Engineer, okay. Okay. Well, then, I kind of like Liliana here. Let's take out the Ugin. I have a Mox. Why can't I have my Mox? See, I'm reluctant to play Deluge or Damnation because we've only saw two creatures. And we do have Blood Chief's Thirst, Fatal Push, uh, Wall of Omens to block, Skyclay Apparition. Like, we have removal. Liliana, Vindicate. Like, I don't think they're going to flood the board here. Yes. And if we're Damnationing or, or Toxic Deluging to kill, a, like, a Haste creature, like, the damage is already done, and then we're just taking another, like, three. It's clear what you must do. <laughs> Yogmoth's will.
You know what? I'm gonna get that tithe value. Well, isn't that special? So we're gonna go one, two, three, pitch your hand, fatal push this little dum dum, and go ahead. Sure. Solid. Yeah, I like that we have two answers for this as well. I also like that this gets rid of... We also have two answers for like Hellrider as well. Your face is great draw three super fritz. <sighs> Ravages of War is a super cool card. Stages a combo with Dark Depths, yes. Two lands? Nice. All right, we're getting somewhere. It's two, it's two to activate, right? Oh, it's three to activate, that's nice. So as long as we hit one more land in the next like two turns, we should be fine. Well, that is a land. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. One, two, three. I'm not actually worried about this because they can't actually, well, I guess if they draw like Mana Crypt. Yeah, let's just get rid of this now. Like it's eight damage. I just don't feel like risking that. Like next to we can go Thalia Dark Depths. Oh, that's actually a good draw. Let's play this into Big Daddy Yogs. Oh, they didn't Oh, they didn't actually do anything. That's weird. It's almost like they had no cards in hand and huh. Huh. Or one black shy of doing it all. This does not tap, right? I'm not crazy. Hmm. I think we actually should have played planes. We could play Demonic Tutor and Thalia this turn. Yeah, instead I'm just gonna take this. 
Maybe we can go to the next game sooner if you have like actually actually nothing to. Okay, cool. <laughs> Seems good. Oh boy. Let's take out this and this and this and bring in this and this and this and Woe Strider and Midnight Reaper, maybe. You know what? It's playing forty one. All right, let's do it. This actually seems pretty good. I will keep. Oh, uh, that 41 cards you just witnessed. That is the Franco Core special. Nailed it. Why do I push it to the limit stuck in my head? I don't know. Ooh, Vampire Hex Mage, huh? If we can have black dark depths, we, we're comboing, boys. See, but this is what I meant when I have the, the black white mana restrictions. Like, if we play another white, we can level this into a 3 3. If we play a black, we're one step closer to this. So it's kind of like what's more important. Right now, I think it's this. Next time we get Big Reapy Boy. Because you live life to the limit and always pushing that limit. <laughs> <laughs> Push it to the limit. No, okay, sounds good. You got it. Oh, beautiful. I have to blow my nose. We yeah, we we can target we can target trying with Skyclave. I wanna blow my nose, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hide everything so you guys don't get to witness it. I love you. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. He's, he has no... He has no sound. I'm actually just passing here. We can play Resto. Neither of these are a threat right now, and, like, I think this is actually worse for them than it is for us. I don't think Vortex is a problem. <laughs> it seems like they're going to do worse. Like, isn't it worse for them?
They have one card in hand after this. Like, if they want to use Shrine to kill one of these guys, sure. I have two answers for Vortex in hand. You got it. So now I get to draw a card and I get to kill the shrine and they have no cards in hand? Sure, let's do that. Could have played that differently and kept up Fatal Push, but that's okay, I guess. So they have no cards in hand. They have one Firebolt and they can't kill our Angel with Firebolt, so they're probably dead in like two turns. Hex Mage, the Shrine. I'll just vindicate it. I'd rather keep Hex Mage because if we just draw Dark Depths, like we get a twenty twenty, and that's that's cooler. So they're just casting this as a man. Why wouldn't they shoot first? Hmm. Okie dokie. And you're dead to your own shrine. So they basically lost to their own cards. They lost to Sulfuric Vortex. I keep saying shrine, but I mean Vortex. They've lost to their own Vortex and to their own Ravages of War, unfortunately. Live by the mountain, die by the mountain. Oh, let me open something real quick, make sure it's not popping up here. Sir Riege, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate you. Yeah, I'll join that match. You got it. Okay, so we're going to play Bitter Blossom into Braids. That seems good. Um, yeah, I can show the deck after this, I guess. I'm not sure how to do it before. Wow, this is a, this is a real hand dumping you're doing here. <laughs> that's actually pretty sweet okay so we're gonna go be, be blossom then we're gonna go souls and then we're hoping to draw black in the next two turns okay well we didn't draw it there we're also hoping that we what 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 <laughs> Why is it this spirit art? Come on. Oh my god. We're also definitely bringing in both Damnation and Toxic Deluge against this matchup. Come on, Black Source, one time. Don't do me dirty. <sighs> Fucking they did me dirty. They did me so, so dirty. Oh well. We got this guy. I'm actually not attacking. If they want to attack with this guy, we can quad block it and lose two guys. That's fine. Five, six, seven, seven mana right now, huh? Sounds good. Make that main phase food. Homage. Oh, now you're going to give me a black source. 
now you're going to give me two black sources. Also, uh, Kenrith being able to just gain us five life out of nowhere is pretty cool. What are they real? Nothing exciting, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. I, th I still think it's just braids here. Quad block is the name of my construction company in high school. Wow. You had a construction company in high school. That's really impressive. So is this crater hoof that they always have, but what are you going to do? I guess die to crater hoof. Ooh, here we go. Five, six, seven. Is this actually that good? Oh, it's an Ugin instead. Okay. Well, that is good. Negative two. Negative four. Hmm. Well, that is a thing. Let's go Carnage, see what they say. <laughs> oh, I didn't want that? Okay, sounds good. Oh, Mox Ruby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is actually fantastic. Wow, what a great draw that was. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that was so good, dude. And now we just get to gain a million life. Primeval Titan. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, by that point, we will have Ugin in play. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, this actually seems pretty good for us. Except for the fact that we're drawing infinite lands. A rocky mountain high. Colorado. I too have an Ugin. We have a Hulk. Uh, we just we just play Ugin here. Uh, Dark Petition's not going to get us anything better than Ugin. We could Dark Petition for um, Dark Depths, which is pretty amazing. Hmm. What does this guy do? Put a creature from a graveyard onto the battlefield. I mean, we could depths this turn, right? One, two, three, four, five. Make a copy of it. Wait, can't we give it haste too? Do we just kill them here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, activate. Give it haste. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we played a land. I'm dumb. I guess we, we wouldn't have enough mana if I didn't play a land. Let's remove this from the equation. We'd have one, two, three, four, five. Then one, two to activate. And then we wouldn't have a mana for, uh, for haste. So we were one shy. Huh. I think the question, I wonder if we negative six, I don't really think so, but I kind of just want to shoot their face. I guess we could just dark petition for, for a removal spell too, right? Like let's just dark petition for Liliana. How's that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. 
I mean, this seems fine. It's not as exciting, but... Uh, I don't think it's I don't think it's vindicated. I'd rather just have Lily on it. Is Lily on a sideboard? We're smart. Okay, so vindicated is. I mean, to be fair, we have Dark Depths, Demonic Tutor. I guess that's it. Yeah, sure. I'll just vindicate it. I guess one, two. Play land. Yes, we did. Shoot your face. And I'm just going to hold back because I don't really feel like having Ugin. Like, we, we can ultimate Ugin next turn. Uh, if we, Yeah, keep in mind, if we do this, it, it's going to go to their control, not ours. <sighs> Fucking eye roll. Okie dokie. Solid. That's actually not terrible, all things considered. Uh, let's play this guy. Get a swamp. Sure, doesn't really matter here. What do we have one? Oh, we can play. Oh, we can't play everything and give it haste. So I'm just actually going to play blade splicer here. Haste up the haste up the boys and then attack with everything. And we're just going to hope they don't have a way to remove that because then fucking of course they do because of course they fucking do. Amazing. <sighs> That's wonderful, man. Absolutely fucking wonderful. <laughs> oh, they, we lose a two life. From a graveyard onto the battlefield under its owner's control. Does that do anything here? No creatures in our graveyard. Doesn't really matter anyway. Yep, cool. That's actually unfucking believable. They had to have U Ulamog. They had to have enough mana to cast Ulamog. They had to have Acidic Slime. And we had to have less than 20 cards. All of those things had to go right. Seems good. Boy. Yes, of course, if we attack with Kenrith, we would have won, but also we would have lost our Ugin. I mean, we wouldn't have been. I was. If our goal is ultimating the Ugin, I'm not going to assume they have an answer for a, a, an eight mana planeswalker in the form of Ulamog. So, like, yes, every decision is easier. Um when you have perfect information and you know what's going to happen. It's not only good versus questing beast. They literally had stirring wildwood on the board. If we attack with Kenrith, they attack our, the Urgen down to eight with their stirring wildwood. That's on the board. Ah, uh, Orn seems great here. All of our cards seem pretty good. I mean, I said it. I said I, I don't want them to attack back with Stirring Wildwood and and take our Ugin out of ultimate range, so that's why we're going to do what we did. Ravages of War is pretty bad against any deck that has a ton of mana dorks. Like, they, we're just going to Ravages of War them, and they're going to be like, all right, tap Findhorn Elves, Land of War Elves, and something else, and play my spells. And I'm going to be like, oh, okay, I guess we're dead. 
61 cards. Nailed it. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, all of our cards seem good. Like, we also have Damnation. We have Liliana. We can bring in a ton of stuff. But, like, you have to consider we already have a ton of good removal. So it's like, are we just replacing removal with other removal? That could be decent. A sunny day, it'll burn your throaty boy. We can actually Demonic Tutor for something, and then Dark Petition is, is online, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, now we're just going to remove their whole hand, though, so... Ugin Ulamog Heath. Sounds good. Sounds good. Also, we can actually play Dark Petition into Sedgemore Witch, which is pretty sweet next turn. You are not going to win this race, my friend. Oh, I just had a boner. Let's get... <laughs> oh, we're doing it. The dream is alive, guys. MTG Pyro, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it, my dude. You got it. Yeah, get that Nissa. Oh, it's definitely, it's definitely a good game. I can't imagine what they hit off of their Nissa to to not make a good game, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, they just made that. So they have no cards in hand. Mad at Lage, buddy. Oh, okay, that's game. <laughs> good times. That shit's fun, man. Oh, now I want to put Dark Depths in my cube. Dark Devs, va Vampire, Hex, Mage. That's a nice little, uh, that's a sweet little package. I do like Liliana. Let's take Thalia out for Liliana. Uh, I'd rather have Liliana than Splicer, I or uh, Liliana. I'd rather have Blade Splicer than Thalia. That's what I'm trying to say here. How often do you cube IRL? Uh, very infrequently because of COVID. Perhaps you've heard of the pandemic that's been that's been ravaging the world in the, in the past year. Uh, no Yogg's will to get back your Dark Depths? No, I guess I'm just... I guess I'm just not that bold. You can't really dress like Hot Topic because Hot Topic does not dress itself. It is a store. So. All right. Uh, this is 41. Which I'm kind of fine with. I actually think Mana Tide is pretty bad here. Like, they're making the big manas. Oh, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer, take my hand. Ah, let's find a way to kill that thing. Oh, we had one in hand the whole time. Yeah, do it. You're not going to do it? What? Oh, I guess you can still level it. Yeah, this is good. This is a good play, actually. Because then they got a point in, so. 
Um. Oh man, another land. What a what a maniac. I too have another land. I got lots of them. We kind of want to get Dark Depths down eventually because then if we drop Thespian Stage, it's live, but. Jesus Christ. They're doing well for themselves. I guess they're going to Ulamog us next turn with their last card. Or they're just going to play Nyssa. So they played a forest first. Oh, I guess they don't have. Oh man, Toxic Daily sure would be bananas. Instead, it's Marsh Flats. Also good. <sighs> well, <laughs> it's not ideal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine lands and a mox have come out of our deck as opposed to Fatal Push and Kenrith. So nine to two in terms of uh, mana production versus actual cards. Yep. Oh my God. You top decked fucking Ulamog. <laughs> oh God. Actually incredible. Okie dokie. So sometimes you're just not meant to win games, really. That's what it comes down to. Cool. Yep, you got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is what they would have exiled. We would have drawn Wall of Omens into Swamp. Cool. Good games. Both sides played hard by top decking their Ulmog exactly when they needed it. Then we just wait. Should have went Sultai. How dare you? Okay, now we're going to try this blade strategy again. This braid strategy again. This actually seems great. Oh, let's actually play our land, though. That's kind of what I want to do, you know? So land into Bitter Blossom, into Blade Splicer, into Braids if we hit any land. Ooh. I like your Triome, bro. Okay. Land. Never, never a land. Uh, 
Oh, you're going to counter this too, huh? Okie dokie. Okay. Okay, so we're trading Bitter Blossom for... Fascinating. Let's play this. Okay, so they're basically dead here, I would I would presume. Let's get deep. Okay. Well, I feel like they're gonna have a, either a Venser or something. Uh, I did not get a new camera. I did get new lighting and I made my face a little bigger. Quick note, I didn't see a like on my Facebook for a certain someone on my new kitty bed. Sammy, I actually saw your kitty bed. I'm sorry I didn't like it, I meant to, but I was actually afraid. What happens if those suction cups come undone? Does it get a catch just fall? Uh, it's it's possible to have two of the token, but one dies because it is legendary. So kind of not really. Oh, this is they're just they're just killing themselves. <laughs> how? How? Tell me. Explain to me how you. Well, I, I don't understand. He falls. <laughs> that sounds terrible, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, good. Wow, you hit high tide off of your single Urza activation. What is that, a one in 20? Got a 5% chance for that bad boy, huh? This is actually incredible. I feel like we assembled our combo and they're like, well, you know what? I get one activation off her, so I might as well see what happens. Okay, for five, here we go. Okay, ritual. Three hits, huh? You got any lands in that deck? There we go. Okay, we had a land, guys. And a worn power stone. <laughs> uh, God. Yep. Yep. Maybe their second turn just won't be as good, you know? They're gonna spin that Urza wheel again. They get they get an angular activation. Yep. Sneak a tag. <laughs> This has been the fucking most amazing, most amazing match I've ever seen in my life, I think. Wow. 
And they have five cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mana. Oh, good. Hold on. Something very good was under Sheldock, apparently. So let's see what that is. Draw cards equal to the number of cards in your hand plus one. So draw seven. Seems good. I got so excited. Teferi Time Sure. You got it. Huh. You know what? This might be your only out. They have 12 cards. They're probably just going to venture this. Or repeal. V Valteric, Lance, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Good for you. Oh, good. They have something. There he is. Okay. I've seen enough of your bullshit. Wow. Luckily, man, that game would have been completely different if they just didn't hit Time Spiral off of their one Urza hit. Who saw that coming? Yep, that's cool. Prank and the opponent always having it. Name a more iconic duo. That's actually pretty hilarious. Let's take out Ugin. Or uh, Leshnoi, rather. Bring in Big Lils. Push is still fine because it kills Urza. We'll keep this hand. We're halfway there. I'm going to use this to get Scrubland almost immediately. There are less fun ways to lose. I don't know. That was pretty unfun. That 100, that was bullshit. Sammy, thank you, buddy. <laughs> Love it. All right. I'm just going to crack this. <sighs> okay, okay. I always feel so bad watching your cube drafts trains because the draft would be amazing. Half the time you'd wheel things you never should. Then the games, your opponent just literally always has the perfect card every time. It's okay though. You're awesome. Lance, I appreciate it, buddy. Um, you know what else is nice? Getting rid of your stupid power stone, dummy. <laughs> Man, Skyclave Apparition is so good. That's interesting. Does that do anything for us? We can go stage mocks, get dark depths. Oh, they have like multiple counter spells in their deck though, so...
Um. I don't really care about Chalice. I think we're just going to go Mines our Island here. Eh. Okay, so they got rid of Sheldock and Chalice. We know they have Mana Leak. Let's get rid of this thing. Let's crack this. We'll get another black with it. Dark Deaths. Mana Tithe. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. So, I just don't think we're there at three. I think we're actually just fine with passing here. I mean, we know they have mana leak, so we're just giving them something to mana leak here. Oh, I guess we just win the game because sometimes the two, two, and a one, one does the job. Uh, yeah, we'll do it again. <laughs> uh, turn one wall of omens is pretty sweet. It's not super exciting, but it does get us through our deck. Uh, Mana Crypt is in this cube. It's likely in most every vintage-based cube.
can't turn one hex mage here, so we're just going to turn one wall of omens. Ideally, draw the dark depths, right? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, we did it, boys. Yep, you got that. You got it. That's fairly annoying. I guess they do get to time walk here. But they don't have the same mana advantage they did last time. And they only have two cards in their hand, so... You got it. Austin, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Sure. You know, that's kind of obnoxious. Okay, we just win the game. They're like, well, we don't have an answer for a Dark Depths. Gotti, why did it go back to this screen? Where's the... There we go. Thank you guys for watching. Welcome back. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. That was pretty sweet. I'll see you next time.